check this out guys any actual object that you bring into blender we've now actually made a node that will change that shape into planks of wood so whether that be a floor like you can see here or even a barrel all you need to do is get the right shape that you want make sure it's a 2d plane and with a few clicks of our geometry node buttons we can actually have a realistic or stylized barrel crate viking ship or wooden plank floor welcome everyone it's neil here from 3d tutor back today with another amazing node and oh boy i don't think this one's been done before and it took a little bit of thinking outside the box what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a node where you could just get any shape and from that shape would create planks of wood this would be great for things like barrels or wooden floors or crates or even a pirate ship and i think we managed to actually achieve something pretty special here so with all that said let's get started and i'll show you exactly what i mean so the first one we're going to look at is a wooden floor so if i grab bring in a plane just bring in some edge loops so Control r left click right click bring in some edge loops and that's basically all you need to do from there just reset all your transforms and then come over add in the geometry node which is called mesh planks bring that in and you'll see not a lot really happens but the moment we come down now and start messing with it through these options you will see just how powerful this node is now let me come in and just bring down first of all the side gaps so if i bring those side gaps down like so you can see now that we have some planks of wood going across well not too special at the moment but if i come in and actually turn off this continuous split now you can see we've actually got planks of wood on an actual floor now what we can also do from there is we can turn up the gap randomness so let's turn that up like so we can also increase the amount of gaps that we actually have and we can also increase or decrease the actual gaps of the actual floor from there what we can also do is we can also come in change the resolution or we can even come in and actually bend some of these planks of wood up as you can see there we can also add some randomness to them and it gets better than that because what we can also do as well is we can increase the resolution and then what we'll do is we'll come in and increase the actual noise of the planks of wood to make them all that broken look from there then we can just come in and shade smooth shade auto smooth and there we go we've got wooden planks as easy as that on a floor so however big or small you actually want the floor to be now moving on we can also do the same thing with our actual barrel here so what we're going to do is add modifier geometry node click the down now mesh planks and the main thing is just to show you how this actually works now i've actually showed you this is just to make sure the axis is right the one that you actually want so on this one for instance it will be the z axis if i just click the z axis on now you can see that they're going the right way next of all just click align to normals or click this on or off and then it will align everything to the actual barrel from there then what we can actually do is on this one for instance we might not want actually separated uh, planks like this we might just want continuous planks which is what we've got this on here if we take this off then it will give you splits going along like this we don't want that on this barrel what we do want on this barrel however is to actually increase or decrease the side actual gap so you can see here we can either bring these in or out to make them closer together or not from there then what we can actually do as well just this just from the shape we can also increase the thickness of the barrel for instance we can increase the um, offset ends of the barrel like so to make it a lot more jagged a lot more stylized in a way and we can also increase the actual bend of these parts going in and give it some randomness on top of that as well from there then we can again bring in the noise and actually make this a very stylized barrel now you can also what you can also do is you can actually apply this now so let's put it on shade smooth shade auto smooth and there we go that's what we've got at the moment let's now come down and turn the side thickness down a little bit so let's drop that down just a tad like so and there we go we've got a barrel with a few clicks of the actual mouse and it actually gets better than that as well because what we can do now is we can come into any shape basically when you've got two sides by the way just make sure you split them off so p selection split them off and then all we'll do is we'll just grab this side first We'll come in, add modifier, geometry node, click the down arrow, mesh planks. Make sure that we're on the Z axis like so, and make sure that we align to normals. And then all we can do is we can bring in these side gaps. We'll bring them in like so, exactly the same. 
from there, then what we can do is we can actually grab this one, grab this one, press Control L, and all we're gonna do is copy modifiers. And with these ones, we're just gonna turn off align to normals and that'll align them the other way. And from here, all we can do is just press S and Y and just bring those in. And you can see already, we've actually managed to form a pretty good crate. And there we go, as simple as that. And don't forget, we've also got all of those options that I've just been through. Now let's come to something a little bit more complex. What about an actual ship? So you can see here, I've got my ship. It's got the outline of it. We need some planks of wood on here. Let's actually come to it. So what we can do is we can go to add modifier, geometry node, click the down arrow, mesh planks, and there we go. It actually works on the ship as well. From there, we can clean, uh, clean this up a little bit by turning up the resolution. And we can also got one here that we can actually tilt the actual wood as well, as you can see, and depending on what you actually want for your actual boat or ship. From there, then we can actually turn off continuous planks. We're gonna have breaks going along then. So let's turn up um, the amount of gaps we've actually got. So let's turn it down to something like this. Let's turn up the randomness a little bit, like so. Let's also come in and turn down what the end gap is. So we'll turn that down a little bit, all the way down to there. And there you go. You can see just how easy it is to actually make a ship. And from there as well, we can come in, generate, bring in a mirror. So a mirror to put it on the other side. Let's actually move it over a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab it, move it over like so. And there we go, as simple as that to actually make your bow. So you can see with this node, it's so easy. You can just bring in any piece of mesh as long as they're quads and you can create things quickly and easily right off the bat. Now within this pack, we've also included a beautiful stylized material just in case you want to use that. And all you need to do to use it is if you come on over to material view, you'll see at the moment, it's actually got some material on it. It's not the one we want. If we go over to object, come down to convert to mesh, that then will convert that geometry node. And now you can see if I press tab, this is what you will be left with. All of this from actually just one actual shape that you actually picked. Now, if we head on over to our materials panel, you will see that it's got a material on it. It's the one that comes with the geometry node. So if I click on these, you will see that we've actually got a material in here that's called stylized wood. So all we need to do now is just head on over to our, make sure that material's on there. Press the tab button, A, U, Smart UV Project, click OK. And there we go. We've got a beautiful smart material on there, which is our stylized wood. If we put this on rendered view, you can see that's what it's going to look like. And if you want it to be a little bit higher on the resolution, all you need to do is come over to UV editing and just scale these up a little bit like so. If I now go back over to modeling, you can see this is exactly what we've got. Straight off the bat, remember that everyone, straight off the bat, just from one shape. We can also do the same thing with these. All we need to do is object, convert, mesh, tab, A, grab everything, Smart UV project, and there you go. There is your actual wooden floor. Again, as well, the best thing is that, that we can actually just bring literally any, and I mean any kind of actual shape. So let's bring in another cylinder. Let's keep it on 18 and let's make this one a little bit different. So all I'm gonna do is add in some edge loops like so. I'm gonna come in then, grab the top of this. Let's shrink it in. So we'll make something like this, something a little bit different. And we'll bring that out. And then all I'll do is just delete the top and the bottom. I'll then reset all my transforms like so. Set origin to geometry. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in the geometry node. So geometry node, click the down arrow mesh planks. Make sure they're on the Z axis like so. Align normals. And there we go, as simple as that. And from there then again, we can shade smooth, shade auto smooth. We can actually come in then and uh, take off continuous. And then we can actually bring in a few more gaps if we want to. So something like this. Realign them like so. Change the thickness if we want to, so we can bring the thickness out or in. Change the thickness randomness as well. We can actually change that, so we can make it very unrandom uh, random on here. Then we can actually come in and change the uh, end gap, so how close these are to touching. So let's bring them a little bit closer together, holding the shift button. Let's actually bring them in a little bit like so if we need to. And let's actually change the bend on these as well if we need to. And then finally, let's bring up the noise just a tad like so and make it very uneven. From there, if we don't actually want all of that, we want to keep the rest of it, but we want them just to be straight planks. All we need to do is just click on straight planks and there you go. Simple as that, everyone. Again, from there, all we can do is object, convert to mesh, and then tab A, U, 
smart UV project, click OK. And there you go, there is a wooden planks as simple as that. Now remember as well with the geometry node, you can actually come in as well, delete off this material and just bring in your own material if you want to. All right, everyone, so I really hope you enjoy this one. I hope you find it useful. I know us guys here at 3D Tutor really, really find this useful, and that's what we want to do. We want to create geometry nodes that are useful, easy to use, and value for money. Now, talking about value for money, we have our huge course coming out near the end of this month, the Victorian stylized scene, which I know many, many of you are actually excited about. And what's more as well, you can join our Patreon. You can get that actual course for free when it's actually launched, as well as things like geometry nodes. And I think it's one of the best Patreons in the actual industry. So if you haven't already, check that out. And if you are a free member, we welcome you. Thanks a lot for the support. But you might want to think about actually supporting us that little bit more and getting all of that free content. All right, everyone. So this, I think, is about the 15th or 16th uh, Geometry Node we've actually created. Many more along the way, including whole buildings that we're actually working on now. So stay tuned for those things. All right, everyone. So I hope to see you on the next one. Happy modeling, everyone. Cheers.